that many games? Sonic? Knuckles? I can handle this. I'm gonna make you the prototype. By the end of this video, you're gonna make your own Motion Blue Sega Genesis Mini to put in any Raspberry Pi 3 configuration. In order to download it, I'm gonna put a mega link in the description below. It's 5.39 gigabytes. You do need to download that. Uh, I've already downloaded the image, so to get started, let's just go ahead and we have the we had the uh, the RAR file. You just double click this. It should extract these four files: three README files and the actual .img file here. So I now have my SD card. I'm going with a 32 gigabyte here. A 16 gigabyte will work. Um, keep that all in the default options. There you go. So I have clicked the folder, got my IMG folder, my IMG file there. My device is set, and I'll just go ahead and click the right key. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. So once this thing is done writing, we're just going to boot it into our Pi. Okay, so that took about four minutes, but this is a this is not a super high end brand SD card. It is a class ten, but it's just a little slower. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller, and I'm just going to hold down the A button on here, and then you see you can find it. It's a good controller because you don't need to install any drivers. You should be able to see it automatically. You are also going to need a keyboard if you're going to do Wi-Fi. Unless you're going to plug in your controller, and right now I'm just I'm just uh, configuring my controller. Everything it tells me to do, I'm just doing on here. They're all very easy. The one that might trick you is there's a thumb, and the thumb is to click into the controller. If you don't want to do it, just hold down any button, and then it'll say not defined, and you can skip it. First thing to do is connect to the internet. If you're plugged in via um, the LAN cable, like a hard line Ethernet, you don't have to do this process. But Wi-Fi is really easy. Just go down to Wi-Fi. And uh, click the Wi-Fi network. I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to show you my IP address and everything. But you're just going to connect, find the network, type in the password, and you're done. After you're done connecting to the network, just hit exit. You should be back out to this screen. You can now access your Pi from any computer. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to jump on a computer and access our Pi. You want to go over here to Arcade Punk, and I'll put a link in the description below. So go down here to Sega Mega Drive Genesis Hyper Pi. This is the file you want if you want all the games. You can also download the games manually, or you might be able to find a ROM pack somewhere else. The main thing is that you just get the snap videos, the wheel art, the box art, and the actual ROM. All right, so we have downloaded the RARs. We unrar it. You should get this folder here. And uh, this is a .md. That's the actual emulator. It should work. Let's see in a second, but all the rest are .zips. We can always replace the six-pack game later if we want to. And uh, something wrong with this, the box art was all um, wheel artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that. You are going to have to change out the box art to what I have here. Um, but it looks like it's the same spelling, which is good. So on the left side here, I have my network. You can either network into the Pi via typing your IP address up here, or sometimes your computer just, or most of the time, it'll just sense it. And then we're going to go into ROMs. We're going to go down to Genesis. That's where we want these all to go. Unless you want to do Mega Drive, I think you could just do that as well. Put them in Mega Drive. So, but this is going to be a Sega Mini Sega Genesis. We're going to go into Genesis, and we're just going to copy everything. So I'm just going to delete this folder so it doesn't ask me to replace it. And snap. Okay, cool. Because I'm just going to transfer all this. Control A, Control C control of the after you transfer all that ROMs if you're in the US and you want it to say Sega Genesis and you don't want it to say Sega Mega Drive then you do the step if you're in the UK or you don't mind it saying Sega Mega Drive you can skip this step it's totally fine I went ahead and already made a platforms.cfg file you can download it or you can just create your own inside of it it just says Mega Drive theme equals Genesis it's just telling the Pi that you want to say Genesis instead of Mega Drive. So to do that, go to uh, configs, go to the network, into your Pi, and then into configs, and then into all, and then you could just drag and drop it there, and it adds a new file. There won't be a file there already. You'll have to create a new file. You can like copy one of these files and then rename it, or you can just download mine. It's already done for you. And now we're done. We're going to go back into our Pi now. Now, in order to change this to Sega Genesis, we've transferred over that that platforms.cfg file in our config folder. And as you see, it still isn't showing up as Genesis. There's one more thing we gotta do. We're gonna need to go into that RetroPie menu. And then we're gonna go to RetroPie Setup. Click in. Within RetroPie Setup, there should be Manage Packages as one of the options. Should be about the third one down, Manage Packages. And then in the main packages, number 222, triple twos. 
triple deuce. We have the Labretto Genesis Plus GX. Press OK. You do need to be online for this, but you should already be online when you transferred all those ROMs over. And you're just going to update this emulator really quick. Very quick. Shouldn't take much time at all. And once you're done uploading this, the, once you're done updating this packet, we're just going back, 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 exit. And then we're just going to restart emulation station very easily. We can press start on our controller quick. You just got to restart emulation station to unplug the whole system. All right, now that we're back in emulation station, let's see. Booyah, Sega Genesis. And it's same as before. We could, um, it's the same way, and you can change the theme if you want as well. All we did was we changed the, now it's a Sega Genesis up here, and it's a Sega Genesis system. Perfect, right? Very nice. Now, to finish off this video, I have a treat for you all. I have a inexpensive Hyperkin Sega controller. This is the six button style, just like the US market. And I haven't configured it yet. I'm gonna show you how to configure it as according to the um, GitHub RetroPie forum. So I'm just gonna hold down A to get started. USB gamepad. So really quick, the D-pad is easy, right? Up, down, left, right. For start, I'm gonna use the one start button on here. For select, there's a little mode button here at the top. I'm gonna see if it'll take that as it as select. On the on the the thing here, it's saying you just don't need a select. <laughs> or there's some of these controllers have a select button as well on it. This one doesn't. So I'm gonna see if I can there's a mode button on the back. I wonder if I can do that. All right, it took that button as a select button. So now when you get to A, A is gonna be the farthest button on the right, which is C on the controller. So A is really C on your controller. B is actually gonna be B, so that one is simple. X is going to be the middle top button, according to this. So X is the middle top, which is Y on this. So X is actually gonna be Y. And then Y is gonna be A on this button, on this controller. Uh, left shoulder is going to be X. It's going to be the left above A. Right shoulder is going to be Z, which is the right above C. And then uh, no triggers, no controller. So now we're just going to hold down A. Hold down A. No, no, no. Hold down A. Hold down A. We're just holding down A so it's just not defined. I know, I know. Kind of a pain. All right. Here he emerges from the icy waters and onto the chateau grounds undetected. Okay, Harry, you gotta attach the modem to the computer. Here's the one Fucking modem, right? Dial up. Oh! Ooh. Are you. Are you not supposed to like, kill people, or? Yeah. What the hell is that? Is that the security passcode? What do you think? Jesus, where the hell is the security passcode? I went in here. Maybe it's on the ground over here. I'll take the help any day. Um, let me forward. I'm up to 50 shotgun shells. So how do I change weapons again? Okay, there we go. Probably use a grenade, huh? I'm sure there's like a certain spot you need to use it. Button can work as a select button. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Nice. Got plenty of coins, that's for sure. I feel like that's where most people get hurt right there. Is they get one of those fish. Hit the fish and you die. Hale's got it for me. 
All right, so Sonic, great game. Really liking this little controller because it really adds to the experience significantly. You got Zero, the, the Kamikaze Squirrel. What's the 7-Up game called? Like something with an X, I want to say. So this has all the top Sega Genesis games on here. Everything from Contra to Alter Feast, Golden Axe, Sonic the Hedgehog, Streets of Rage 1 and 2, Gunstar, Rystar, Sonic and Knuckles, Kid Chameleon, Eternal Champions, Flicky, all those classics are on this image. You can hit select, search for something, you can change the theme, you can get this awesome controller, there'll be links in the description below, but this is how you make your own Sega Genesis Mini. I had, there are some pre-built images out there for you as well. I have a separate video on that. I'll put a link in that in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also have a mini NES and a mini SNES video out there. So if you're interested in those, check those out. There's all sorts of really good stuff on there. So check out my channel. If you have any questions, comment below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one.